Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Sydney. Today I am doing a talk through writing hack raws. So this is just from a hack I had on Lucky. And so I'm just going to let you guys know what I was doing and why I was doing specific things. So let's get started. with just the warm-up I did cut a lot of it out because it was just boring walking around um, me fighting with him to go into the corner so that's why I have my arms so far apart I have my right hand out quite a bit um, my reins were a little bit long for what we normally ride with on him but I was just letting him have a little bit more hoping he would go more forward letting his nose go out more um, but it did not work, and I did shorten my reins after this. But I just that I kept on pulling him out into the corners, and he wasn't going as fast as I wanted him to because it was 70 degrees outside Fahrenheit, and it hasn't been this warm in a while. So I just kind of was letting him go his pace, but I did start pushing him forward because I wanted him to go into the trot, and I couldn't go from the, from this pace of a walk to the trot. So you can see here, I ask him to trot and he starts walking a little bit faster. Um, and then I asked him again nicely, so I just gave him a little squeeze and he didn't listen. So then I gave him a kick and I told him to go forward and I squeezed again. And that time he listened, so we picked up the trot. His trot was, um, it started off as a pretty good pace, but he did slow down afterwards. constantly pushing him forward and into the corners even though he didn't go into the corners so my accusation was not good at all I was not exactly focusing on that but more on getting him more forward on Lucky you will have to focus more on pushing him forward and making him move than your accusation so don't judge that because I know it was not the best um, sometimes we ride with a crop with them so if during a lesson I will bring a crop but since this was just a nice little pleasure hack I did not bring a crop but now looking back it probably would have benefit if I brought a crop So then, as you can see, I circle him here, and I kept on doing some circles down here in the different directions, but I cut them out. You can see one circle here, but um, it wasn't helping. It was just kind of making him go more slow because he kept on cutting into the center, thinking I was going to dismount. So then I took him around the long side, and hoping if I was going all the way around the ring, that would help, but I was just constantly pushing him forward the whole entire time. not one of my best hacks. I thought maybe some of you can benefit from it 
and if you guys also ride a stubborn horse or maybe your horse that you ride this time of the year is very slow maybe you can see things that Lucky responded to and things that it did not respond to and maybe some of you can get some tips from this. So here I just gave up and I knew that Lucky wasn't going to be going the pace I wanted him to unless I worked really really hard or did sitting trot and I didn't feel like doing sitting trot at this current point because he was not ready for it. We had not worked enough for me to sit on his back yet. So I just decided to go and do some figure eights as my trainer calls it when you go in a circle and then you cut through the middle and change directions. So it's like a miniature figure eight. So in this hack, we did not canter, but we did do a little bit of sitting trot. I don't know where those clips went, but I did do a little bit of that. And then in this next clip, you'll see I cut down the center line and I worked on halting because sometimes Lucky can't, he does not can't, but he doesn't like to listen to me. And when I ask him to stop, sometimes he likes to keep on going. So he did really well here though. And then I decided to cool down because we were both really hot, but I did do right before the cool down. I can't find the nice forward trot, but I asked him to go forward and I really worked like I just sat for a while and um, and then I went in two point um, and I just pushed him forward. Like I just held my legs against him and just kept on giving him pressure until he got to the speed I wanted. So he did not win the battle, so that was good because I didn't want him to think that he could um, take advantage of me. So I did do a nice forward trot and then we cooled down. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I will be posting a few more videos like this. Um, some of them will be talk through, some of them will be just normal, like just the and crunch one. And I will be posting some lessons too. So thank you guys all for watching this video. We will see you in the next one. Bye!